Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over how to create a web form on your website. With a web form, you can provide an easy way for users to interact with your website. A web form is a fillable form that your website visitors can fill out. This form can then be sent to you with the data that the user filled out. Web forms are great for things like asking your visitors to fill out a survey or place an online order. The form can be customized with whatever questions you want and provides various types of selectable values for use as well. So without further ado, let's look at the web form. Forms can quite often be found on the contact page, so let's head there. This template already has a contact web form, but I'll be deleting this and showing you how to add your own. So go ahead and delete the existing web form. We can head to the Add section and choose Contact. And then here you'll see a section that says Web Form. Here we have options about the type of form we want to add, but don't worry, the form can be customized further later. So I'll click and add this form here, and I will place that here on my page. Now that we have a web form, we can begin customizing it. With the form selected, we can look over to the right side of the page. In this menu, we see the options available to us, the first being Edit Form. This option will open up a menu that allows us to customize the form, more specifically, what information will be filled out on the form. In this menu, we can choose what order the fields will be in, as well as add and remove fields. So we'll be making this web form for an online order. To do that, you can choose the type of fields you want. For this, we'll be using a text area and a checkbox. And we'll get rid of the message box. So I can go over and hover over it and click the red X. And now I'll choose checkbox and you'll see that's added. And then I will also choose text area and you can see that's added. I can then also reorder the fields by clicking on reorder fields up here and reordering how I want them to appear. Clicking on the field in the form preview, we can customize the field even further. For example, with this checkbox, we can change the label as well as the choices available. So I'll do that now. And then once you're satisfied with that, you can go ahead and hit Save Settings. And that will be saved. For the text area, if we click on that, we can change the attributes such as size, default value, or if it's required to submit the form or not. So I'll make a few of those changes as well. And then go ahead and hit Save Settings. After that, and you're finally happy with your online form, you can go ahead and hit Done. And you can see I have it on my page here. Now that we have our form, I'll talk about the other customizations available to us. Over here on the right, you'll see we have Change Design. Change Design allows us to change the preset design of our form. Form Settings allows us to change some of the more advanced options of the form. For example, I can go to Security and set a CAPTCHA for my web form. A CAPTCHA requires users to fill in a quick test to ensure that they're really human. View form data allows us to see all of our form data that's been sent to us, but I'll go over that in a later video. Style allows us to customize some of the stylistic options of the form, such as display style, font types, background colors, etc. So I can choose display style, and how about we make this clean style. And then you can see I'm running a, a bit out of room here, so I will increase the size of my content section to accommodate for that. I'll click on this again. And then we have finally the option for Google event tracking. And this allows for Google Analytics to track how many times your visitors have interacted with the submission form. And that was just a brief look at the web form inside the website.com web editor. If you have more questions, stay tuned to website.com. Thanks.